welcome back to my channel guys thank you for liking my video and for your support if you really like my videos kindly subscribe to my channel and keep supporting so let's move towards today's lecture today i'm going to tell you about the comparison between animal communication and human, human language and you know that uh, the animals talk as well as human talk but why animal communication is not called language whereas human talk is called a language i'm going to tell you the distinctions between both these talks so let's move toward that uh one thing you need to remember that human language and animal communication have a similarity that both are informative and communicative for example if i'm talking to a friend and i say that okay i'm going to bazaar i am informing her and if she says that okay uh, bring me uh, a, a box of juice then it will be a communication process that happens so human language is informative and communicative and when we move towards animal communication we can say that um when a crow crows he may be informing his mate that he has found the food so what happens that all those uh, all his companions will come there and eat up the food so what happened that a communication happened information was processed so both have the similarity but let's move towards the distinction between both these talks so when human language is considered it is said to be reflexive how it is said reflexive um Uh, there is a reflexivity in such a sense that when i talk to my friend i will think about that whether she will mind it or not whether she will understand it or not so what happens that when i talk i will think before but it is not the case with animals they do not think before talking the very next and the important difference is displacement that when humans talk They, they talk about past they talk about present and they can predict the future they try to predict at least the future for example if i say that um i went to the market and i saw a food vendor there and i bought some gold cup pay from that food vendor they were really tasty but when today i went there the golgappe he served to me was not really tasty i think i'll move uh, i think i'll go uh, tomorrow and taste them whether they will be tasty or not so what happened that i talked about my past i talked about present and then i uh, then i you know talked about my future as well but it is not the case with animals for example uh if that uh, if the crow crowed he called his companion and they ate up the food they will not talk about the past that oh yesterday's food was really tasty yesterday yesterday's food i found was really tasty no it, it is not the case and even they can't predict the future so it's a difference and th this property is called displacement i mean that talking about past present and future is called displacement another big and major difference between both these talk, uh, talks talks is uh, <clears throat> infinite vocabulary that when humans talk they have a stock of vocabulary even i am talking i am talking i have i am using different words in my you know in my communication so i have a stock of vocabulary but this is not the case with animals they have finite they have finite vocabulary for example if we talk about cat they only muse and if we talk about um cows they only moo if we talk about crows they only crow and similar is the case for bee dance that it was uh, you know first it was considered an exp uh, exception but then then they saw that those bee dance was having similar moves so they have finite vocabulary and uh, and even uh, you know with the passage of time in human human language different words are being added up but animal communication is remaining the same effect of environment so um environment affects the language for example if a kid is uh, kid is born in uh, pakistan but he was migrated 
uh, to United Kingdom, what happened that he will get the exposure of English language? Here he was getting the exposure of Urdu language, but when he moved towards Pakistan, uh, he moved towards a United Kingdom. He got the influence of English language, and he will learn the language. So there is in fact of environment on that on that child. Similarly, when uh, if I am talk uh, if I am living in Pakistan, I I also talk English. Where we have a kind of exposure in Pakistan uh, of English. So what happens there? There happens a sort of word mixing. I uh, you know when I talk I'll you know uh, usually uh, I'll merge some words. I'll uh, combine my sentence with English and Urdu words. I'll continuously switch my code. Uh, similarly, if we talk about animal communication, there is no effect of environment. I mean, if a, uh, if a cow is born in UK or a cow is born in Pakistan, they both will move. Another important aspect of human language is that human language is complex and animal communication is simple. As I told you earlier that human language have infinite vocabulary they have stock of words there are different innovations being made so due to those innovations they are continuously adding up uh, different words but this is not the case with animal communication so these are the major basic uh, differences between both these uh, talks on the basis of which human language human talk is called language whereas animal communication is called is not called language if you like my videos kindly subscribe to my channel Thank you for your support. See you soon.